Hi everybody, welcome to 11 Residences, Miami. Are you ready? Let's go. First of all, let's take a look at both buildings. The one on the left here is the 11 Hotel and Residences, and the one on the right is the 11 Residences Beyond. We'll go over more details in a minute. For now, let's check out the model unit. Look at this beautiful place. Floor to ceiling windows, amazing bed, and just the view is outstanding. Decoration, unbelievable. And why is this important? Because these units are actually gonna come fully furnished. So once you get yours, you can expect to see exactly what you're looking at right now. Let's take a look at this beautiful bathroom. Everything's super modern. The lighting's amazing. Unreal. I mean, look at this. Beautiful. Just outstanding. Let, let's take a look at the shower. Come on. In fact, I'm gonna take a shower right now, if you don't mind. All right, just real quick. You know, I have to do it. It's part of, it's like a ritual for me. Just give me one minute. All right, let's see, the hot water, yada, yada, yada. It's good, nice. Hey, hey. <laughs> All right. Anyways, let's get out of here. Let's look at the closet here. Nice walk-in closet. You can hang your shirts and also shoes. Let's take a look over here. Everything's good, looking good. Uh, you can put your shoes right there for the ladies or the gentlemen. And let's walk out again to the foyer and check out this kitchen. Unreal. Everything is super modern once again. The floors. You know, it's just unreal. Come on, take a look. Well, look at this. I really see myself in this place, literally. And this, everything's so modern. Look at this light. <laughs> I almost feel like I'm in a spaceship of some sort. And the balcony? Oof. Look at this balcony. I feel like I'm at a party right now. You know? I think I would throw a party here every day. So, uh, yeah. I mean, just look at the view. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I would ever leave that balcony. And yeah, it's like I'm at a party right now. All right. Oh, hey. There's some friends. What's going on? Be right back. All right, let's take a closer look at this balcony. These views are basically exactly what it will look like. All right, let's take a look at this other bedroom here. The view is incredible. Could you imagine waking up to this or going to bed? Just, I don't know if I could ever get any sleep. Ah, oh, man, look at that, beautiful. Here, your closet is uh, slightly different. And again, it looks like a spaceship. Very futuristic. And the bathroom. Yep, look at that. And what I love is that you can put your shampoo, your cologne, everything in there. And, you know, let me take another shower real quick. I love these things. You know, because you can also sing. Yada, yada, yada. <laughs> Alright, enough of that. So, just unreal. Again, look, you can put your shampoo, your conditioner, all your beauty products, whatever you want to put in there. All right, let's get out of this model unit and look at the best part of this place. Yep, that's right. Virtual reality, baby. Honestly, if you've ever seen the movie Matrix, that's exactly what this felt like. Our amazing guide, he was phenomenal. He was almost like Murphy's taking uh, Neo through the Matrix. <laughs> and then they gave us an amazing presentation, going over all the details and everything else. All right, now let's go over more details on how the 11 Towers got started. The developer, PMG, which is also doing other projects like the Waldorf Astoria. Uh, they also have the uh, Elzer and other buildings around the city like Muse and Sunny Isles, Echo and Brickhole. Echo Aventura, the Waldorf, 
which is going to be the first skyscraper in Miami, a hundred stories tall. And that video is coming soon. But anyways, about 10 years ago, Group 11, which are the owners of Club 11, decided to get into real estate. Now, if you've ever been to Club 11, you may already know that it is a club that runs 24 seven. I would say nightclub, but it's like a day club too, right? I mean, it's 24 seven. <laughs> and uh, it is quite amazing. And it became the number one club in the country. And now it is the number seven club in the world. So they definitely established themselves as a name and as a brand. So they came to PMG, um, which are the developers of this project and said, once again, that they want to get into real estate, just kind of like the uh, SLS came about, you know, and at that time, um, PMG was focusing on the Waldorf Astoria, which is something totally different, right? <laughs> and now they're contemplating this new project, you know, which is uh, very more, you know, very much related to like entertainment and nightlife. But because the CEO at uh, PMG, uh, he's very young and very open minded, he decided to move forward with this idea and they decided to come up with a brand that would combine enter entertainment and luxury. So they decided to come up with a sort of a Las Vegas concept. So in 2021, they launched 11 hotel and residences, which is uh, the building that, you know, that has the, the pool with a screen, which basically runs like a hotel. All right, it will run like a five star hotel with amenities such as the day club pool, where they're going to have, you know, top of the line DJs and whatnot. They're gonna have two signature restaurants, a spa, which is not your everyday spa. <laughs> you ready for this? If you've ever heard of Dr. Deepak Chopra, <laughs> who is huge, you know, he's like a guru in meditation and wellness. Well, he's going to be basically running the spa. <laughs> in other words, he doesn't really have an official spa in the United States. Well, not till now, because now he does. All right. If you had told me that Dr. Deepak Chopra was going to be involved with Club 11, I would have been quite surprised. I mean, I, am, I still am a little bit <laughs> that they're in business, but they are. So that is quite fascinating. All right. Now here, uh, they also try to get a casino, but the government said no. However, they are getting the licensing to have the first ever sport betting lounge. And that will be amazing. The renderings are not public yet, but you know, from what I hear, it will be jaw dropping 10,000 square feet with an out.